finishing up a steampunk alphabet. This is the letter Q. These are all individual concoctions of elements that make very little sense elsewhere. That's the way I, I try to resolve conceptual problems. But also stylistically having the grit of the materials and the patina of time and the collection all around here kind of reflects reality for me. What a surprise. Steve and I met when uh, I went to SVA. I was accepted to the MFA illustration where he taught the uh, history of illustration. There is an affinity I have with Victor's process because he's working with real components, real elements. The first poster we did was in the early 2000s. I thought that uh, alphabet an alphabet uh, composed by uh, whatever utensils we use in art would really communicate the right message. It fits so perfectly. Art business culture was where we were going with the school. It says SVA is about something bigger than just making pictures. I really loved the second set of posters that we did. But it was all organic typography sending a message and the heads were just like sizable. And the heads suggested that these diverse people were creating different kinds of art. By the time we did the third poster, we had established a language. And where art is made is kind of a nebulous idea. It was a little harder to come up with an image that wasn't like the second series of posters. They're very special because they're done for School of Visual Arts. That is such a big part of my life. So they're, they're beautiful, large format pieces. They're also very special for me because I did it with Steve. Well, these posters are special because the school is part of the city vocabulary. So it feels like creating really important propaganda for a cause that we believe in. <laughs>